Hello everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Peak Buckaroo Designs and today I'm going to take a minute to show you one of the projects I made on Facebook Live last week. I wanted to make a quick condensed video for those of you that just want to see the project with all, without all the chit chat and other things that happen during a live video. So this card uses the watercolor wing stamp set and the bold butterfly framelits, although when you see the front you can't really, you don't really notice that there's a butterfly until you open it up. Surprise! This is a fancy card with something fancy inside. Now I'm using the Petal Palette Designer Series Paper, or I'm sorry, Petal Passion Designer Series Paper in the 2018 Occasions Catalog. And there are lots of different prints and they're all black and white, so any of them will do. All right, so let's get started. For the inside, you're gonna need to stamp and cut four different butterflies. And I am using Tempting Turquoise and Basic Black. Now I'm gonna use my, my Stamparatus, which is a tool that was available in, for pre-order in December of 2017, and now it will be available for everyone on June 1st, 2018. Now you could, on Facebook Friday, what I did is I stamped it, and then I moved it, and I stamped it, and I moved it all the way down so I had four butterflies. I'm gonna show you a different way to do this this time. This time we're going to do our stamping using the die cut, already cut, okay? Now you're thinking, what in the world is she talking about? Well, let me show you. Now we're only going to use two of the stamps. Usually it's a three-step stamp, but because we're already stamping on Tempting Turquoise cardstock, we really don't need that last layer. All right, I'm gonna grab, let's see, I'm gonna start with this one, and I'm gonna line it up in my die cut right there to make it be exactly where it needs to be, okay? And then I'm going to put my die cut back in the window, and I'm gonna use my Tempting Turquoise ink you can see it all the way at the other end of the platform. And I'm gonna stamp it right there. Now I'm just gonna do one for the video, but if you were gonna make this card and you had four, you would then take this out, put the next one in, stamp it, and continue until all four of your stamps were done. Now we're gonna take the other plate, which is right here, and I think this time we'll do it on the side. And I'm gonna take this stamp, well, I've got a messy desk, I need to clean it up. All right, <laughs> this guy is not going in because I've got so much stuff in the way. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this stamp and I'm gonna lay it in where it needs to go. It fits right there beautifully in the, actually, you know what I forgot to do, you guys, and that first stamp stamped beautifully. When we're using photopolymer, we actually need to use this mat. This allows, um, the paper to be raised a little bit because our photopolymers don't have that layer of cushion that our clear mount um, stamps have. So use that. I was thinking, well, that's really shallow, but see there, now it's gonna fit perfectly. All right, so let's put the stamp, um, the die cut butterfly back in there and stamp this with basic black. Be careful when you're using your um, full size stamp pads because you can get ink on, on the platform itself, which wipes up, but you may not want to get it on your paper. All right, look at that. Now, here's something that is a really good um, reason to use a stamp around. So you can see right here, it didn't stamp so well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna put a little more ink there. Oops, I did the wrong side, that's all right and come down and just push it. Make sure it inks up a little bit better. Oh, look at that, beautiful. All right, so now we would do the other ones, the, the three other ones, and luckily, because the this is a video, I've already done them. So you can see I stamped all of them, pulled them out, and uh, they were already cut. So it kind of simplifies your stamping and die cutting um, when you need it to. All right, so I'm gonna put these to the side because we're gonna do those last. We're gonna put those in our card last. And let's go ahead and set up the rest of our card. I have got a Tempting Turqu 
Tempting Turquoise card base. Now, Tempting Turquoise is a retiring color, so that means at the end of 2000, uh, May 2018, it will be gone. So if you love this color as much as I do, stock up, get the card stock, get the ink, get the refill for your ink so it doesn't go dry, and even get the markers, which I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do something fun. Now, last time I used this side, so I think we'll use this side. And the black and white is fine, but let's add, let me move everything out of the way. Let's add some pops of turquoise. I'm gonna take my turquoise marker and I'm gonna stick it in my lid and I'm just going to flick some ink on here. Isn't that cool? Just a little kind of gives you whatever color it is you want to go with your black and white. And that's it. Easy, easy spritzing technique there. All right, so put this, we've put um, a basic black mat for our paper. Now, if you're looking for the measurements, go over to my blog on my Facebook Friday post and you will find a PDF with this um, project along with two other watercolor wing projects and it'll have all the measurements and the supplies that you need um, listed on the PDF to make this. All right, we're using this sentiment. It says, the little moments with you matter a lot to me. And I'm gonna stamp it right here on this piece of Whisper White, and we're gonna adhere it with our Fast Fuse. Now we're gonna make a frame to go around that. So I'm gonna bring over the Big Shot, and I'm going to use two square framelits with Basic Black. This is the stitched shape, um, stitched square framelit, and I believe this is the second smallest, so one up from the bottom. And then you find one of your basic layering squares to fit right inside of it. And your magnetic platform will hold them exactly where they need to be in place. And when you cut them out, whoops, when you cut them out, we will have a frame to go around our sentiment. I really have been framing lots of projects lately. I really like the way that looks. And for this, we need some mini dimensionals. We'll put these just in the corners there and right there. And you can see the Whisper White is just a little bit narrower than the frame and that was intentional. All right, now we need our basic black twine, also a retiring product. So many wonderful things retiring at the end of May 2018. Make sure that you've looked through all of those things and you're getting the things that you really are, um, that you have on your must have list because once they're retired, they never come back. Occasionally in colors will come back, but poor colors I've never seen come back. All right, so we tied that around the seam of our card and let's put our butterflies inside. Now I'm gonna take these butterflies and just fold them in half like this all four of them, and you could actually do more than four if you would like to have more butterflies, but I felt like four was a pretty good number. This is a special card for somebody who would really appreciate the work that you put into it. All right, now we're gonna put some Fast Fuse just there on the edges of the wing, and we're going to adhere them in a stack. See how I put one side to the other side of the next one, and we're gonna continue to do that until we've gotten to the last one. There we go. One more. Line it up. And they line up perfectly because they were all cut with the same framelit. All right, so there we have it. You can see how it kind of stretches out. You want it to be able to stretch out when you open your card. All right, so decide where you want it at the top, in the middle. I think I'm gonna put mine at the top and I'm gonna put some adhesive all over this butterfly. Set it down and use a strong adhesive, fast fuse or tear and tape or um, a liquid glue. Oh, I've got a random dimensional paper stuck there. All right, now a little more fast fuse and this time I'm gonna close the card, press it in and Voila, there we have it. Now I felt like this was a little bit boring on the inside, so I'm gonna take this smaller butterfly stamp and just kind of add in Tempting Turquoise, a couple like that, and then take the little doodad, the little dots in basic black, 
and do them kind of around just to add some more interest inside. And there we have it. This is a fun card that really is kind of a, on all occasions, thinking of you or even thank you, Mother's Day. Um, that sentiment could really go a long way. All right, let me know if you have questions. Follow the link on YouTube back to my blog where you can find these PDFs. Thank you so much for joining me and let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.